Hi there, my name is Axiom, and in this video I'm going to talk about things that you can do to prepare for Foundry VTT version 10. So we're only a few weeks away from the stable build of version 10 of Foundry. Module developers are hard at work updating their modules. And there are a few things you can do to prepare ready for updating your game. The Foundry team have been putting out a V10 package compatibility list. Link for the spreadsheet is in the links below. This will show everything in green that is already up to date, things in yellow where they're preparing for their release, and red when they're not ready for update. Now to make this even easier in your game to check, there is a module that can help. The module compatibility checker will help you work out if your game is ready for upgrade to V10. Once the module is installed, we can go over to the Game Settings tab here. Then we go to the Manage Modules section here. And now when we open it, what we see is this, that all the modules that I have installed, they are now showing different colors depending on that spreadsheet that we looked at earlier. So we can look down this list and make sure that everything that we need or use more often is actually already green. As I can see in here, the D&D Beyond importer is red at the moment, so that's a key one for me enhanced terrain and a few other ones here. We can also click into this module compatibility checker down at the bottom here. And then we get the more full list here. And it's just looking at what I have installed and what ratios of ones that are complete and ready to go in green, etc., and so on and so on. At the moment, obviously the key ones are five of them uh, will literally prevent a world from loading at the moment. So it's obviously not time but we're not on stable release yet. Some things won't make it into version 10, and these are questions you can only have to ask about your own game. I'm gonna take this opportunity to actually look through the lists and start pairing back or rethinking just how many modules I'm actually gonna be adding into my game, because I'm sure some of these will not be needed anymore. So I'm definitely gonna take the time to pair back my list going into version 10. Other things I will definitely do when the time comes is I will clone the worlds before I actually try and update them just in case anything goes wrong always take a backup and in the forge this is as easy as going to the clone world option here giving it a name and then hitting the clone world option and in here we'll be able to scroll down and eventually we'll be able to pick the stable version of v10 bear in mind v10 has a bunch of breaking changes when you do upgrade your worlds to v10 you won't be able to revert back that's why again making the copy is so important i would definitely give myself some time when i do the change over and definitely don't delete the backups of your version 9 worlds until you're very happy with how things are playing out in version 10 i hope this has been helpful thank you again for listening and please like and subscribe for more content.